Air Cope in Arizona. Nothing about driving the new 2019 Volkswagen Jetta for the first time is a typical experience. For one, we're in Arizona, at the company's proving grounds, a 1,600-acre facility surrounded by massive walls designed to keep folks like us out. Inside are two Jetta prototypes, pre-production cars really, swathed in swirly camouflage with heavy blankets covering most of the dash and center console. And yet, here we are. Invited to a place we've never been before, although relieved of our cameras and smartphones, for security purposes. Now, other manufacturers have had us to their secret proving grounds on similar adventures, but Volkswagen hasn't in recent memory. At a minimum, it's an unusual move for an automaker entailing lots of risk that we might see something before we're supposed to. It's fascinating to take a peek behind the curtain. APG's senior director, the affable James Marcella, is eager to show us all the goodies he can. Having been here for 25 years, he's rightfully proud of the facility, which is used by all brands owned by the Volkswagen Group, even Man, Scania, and Ducati. During the main testing season, flocks of engineers migrate from Germany to the proving grounds, occupying a huge bank of cubicles and competing for time on the various test courses. They include a massive banked high-speed oval, which can sit more than 30 degrees, torture chambers that bombard cars with salt and gravel, and a place where about 125 cars bake in the merciless Arizona sun all year long. There's a room where previously tortured cars are ripped apart, which happens in a room that looks pretty much like a room you might expect to find the pieces of a crashed alien spacecraft. It seems like a cool place to be an engineer, but a rough place to be a car. It was also an attempt to deconstruct the notion that the Jetta was a compact, near-luxury sedan built to do battle with Volvo and Acura and priced accordingly. That meant it a contented, a nice way to say cheaper, Americanized, a nice way to say softer, Jetta built in Mexico and aimed specifically at domestic tastes. It was basically a low-speed autocross course, and it revealed a few notable things about the new Jetta that shouldn't change too much by the time it heads to production. The door cards had an insert that looked like patterned aluminum, and it nicely set off the angular inset for the door handle. The door pulls, however, were hard, nasty plastic, and while other parts of the door card were soft-touch plastics they didn't look like it. VW North American Engineering Chief Matthias Erb told us, in a characteristic moment of frankness, that VW's reliance on turbocharged engines means it's at a bit of a disadvantage in terms of per unit cost. The road course revealed a few other things, the 19 Jetta is soft. Very soft. One of the Jetta engineers who rode along for a few laps told me that the company had gotten feedback from consumers that even the last gen car, a very Americanized product for VW, rode too stiffly for many of them. A softer, more compliant car might please the masses, but it feels even less Teutonic than before. Chasing the mass market, I fear, VW's getting ever closer to abandoning its magic formula of European flavor at budget prices. Incidentally, the jet is approximate top speed, somewhere around 128 miles per hour, with three average-sized adults and an unknown amount of fuel on board, as measured by a VW engineer's GPS in the back seat, is pretty close to neutral steer on the highest part of the banking. Taking a step back, the real question is whether VW should even be chasing the sort of volume that it seeks for this car.